exactly one year ago maze nilikuwa hii area na nilikam kama abeli kijana ana form hata kidogo sababu covid imemuita meeting hii town mbaya sana na reason nilikuwa nimekam hivi juu ni juu nilikuwa nakam kupiga trizex na nilikuwa nimejia mina stool <laughs> simu vitabu za kushikilia simu ni record bibi na mtoto exactly one year later narudi hapa not as abel but as mkurugenzi na kikosi mzima ya wakurugenzi takriban 1200 na wakurugenzi <laughs> after lockdown ya yeah, covid the first case after president amesema hey sasa covid imefika Kenya on one of the afternoons kwa sasa tuko kwa nyumba sisi wote mimi uh, babaka mkurugenzi babake mnaweza kumita babake mkurugenzi na kakuru so tumekaa tu nikamwambia by the way hizi story ju ah acha nikwambie hii for the hizo wiki mbili tulikuwa tumetumbulizwa na stories sasa nikamwambia hizi stories za cause ju nashinda kukiambia watu kwa nini usituambie usiambie watu pia pale kwa mtandao ndio we all enjoy sisi wote tudidi pamoja but initially it was just supposed to be this that one episode tulikuwa tu twende tu kae mahali tupige story basi hiyo story ishi hapo ka story tu kamoja tu post mtandao basi abel mutua gives me a call says kumpeli i think ile kwa usiku ah kaniambia buda Mzee mimi naye tumefanya vitu nyingi stupid. Nikamwambia ni ukweli. Nataka kuzi broadcast. Nikamwambia wewe ni nugu. <laughs> Ju eh zile vitu tumefanya pamoja mwanzo wezi anza tu kuziweka hadharani. But anyway, uh, Abel calls me. Ananiambia niko na hii idea. Over the years nimekuwa nikikupigia story mob. So nafikiri it's high time easy story sasa ni zi package. Uh, nafikiria show inaitwa Young and Stupid. So ni zile visanga zote tushaifanya when we were young and stupid una filaje part of me ilikuwa hallelujah manze eh, for once for 16 years nimekuwa nikisikiza hizi story peke yangu acha watu wengine wasikize sasa <laughs> nipumzike uh, but i think eh, abel and i atujai kuwa na second guessing kipata idea si tunakonga tufanye kitu iko nini i mean what's the worst that can happen tulijaribu iki flop ime flop so I think after Abel and Nicole uh, can show and take a couple of story mm, two thumbs up nyaji piga ikitu I didn't know where it was going to go where it will lead to but I was like you know the idea uko nayo and for us as creatives and the way we work the minute you have an idea run with it so nikamwambia piga ikitu twende mimi niko hapa tupige kazi Mimi kakuru mkuru <laughs> tukatoka kwa nyumba tukabeba kastul tuko na sema lazima uko na mahali penye una kiti ndio uambie watu story I love of course sasa uh, si tuna need ku prop camera camera sayo ni simu tuna need ku prop tukabeba ma books bado tulibeba books ma dictionary za za kakurgenzi ili kwa tu books tuli collect ndio ziende ziko it trip on it so tukaenda tukaseti uh, tukabeba stool nyingine kameza kingine na kamkuruka kuketi na ma books zetu na tukaenda mahali hapo kirigiti eh, shooting range ni shooting range actually Eh tukaenda hapo tukaseta up na tuka record the first story. Wakati pandemonium ilitokea ndio sasa tuko. So hatujui what else to do. So jamaa amechukua familia yake yote wakaenda kwa barabara wakaweka stool wakaweka <laughs> stool chini katikati ya barabara. Hiyo <laughs> karibu. Na wakali waka record. This guy sema the, the, the thing about Abel Mutu anaweza kuwa ndongo mothi but there is one thing about him. Akiamua kitu huwa anaingia ndani. Wah, wow, wacha nikwambie kama kuna kitu bana mimi sijawahi sikizana nayo ni kitu inaitwa editing. Nilikuwa film school <laughs> for 3 years. Uh, out of those 3 years niliingia editing class less than 4 times. 
<laughs> mazesi kwa napenda hiyo kitu kama kuna ninja alipata taabu wakati tulikuwa tunaanza hii mambo bana ni kijana anaitwa sledge sledge nilikuwa nampigia mpaka saa saba usiku kumuuliza bana hiki i- button ya splice hii niko pande gani <laughs> Ah, ilikuwa ni wa ni noma but um njigusha e, likam through pale tuka akatushow kitu ni top power director uh, basically editing for dummies yo tukio <laughs> dogo mothi yo unaweza ngangana bana u edit tu na naitokeleze yeah so tukaikata hapo mbio mbio tukiwa na bimkuru ah tuka i produce then tukawekelea kitu the following day tukaekelea show na in 24 hours ilikuwa na 100k views and so many comments first of all nili catch you you know me and sana had a thing okay ajai ni meet but so nili catch kiasi but i think after the first story ilienda up on instagram i was like you can even call i was like buddha buddha kuna kitu hapa So after Mazed the Sunday pay story bana ime grow legs imeenda deadly wa Kenya wameitana Mazed nikapiga episode 2 eh, ya mrash flani hapo alikuwa na ni stock mbaya sana <laughs> hey, alinifanyia majambos then after hapo nikaona ah sasa i think it would be a good time to bring in feel najua feel bana tumepitia na hiyo vitu mob sana kwa hii life eh, ingekuwa Mazed unfair bana tungekosa kufanya one two one two na yeye hey, Mazed So feel like I come on board for the first time hapo tukapiga story na Jita eh, the Banner Boys of RTI eh 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 ah fire ah <laughs> fire ah tari ilienda mbaya we now in hindsight manzi hili kwa movie as in even after to pigeo story on the channel was wengi walini approach wako what nyi watu kwa nilikuwa mnaishiaje so for me back then ilikuwa this is part of life um so you, so you experience violence in your life here to now in hindsight i'm like guys that was so dangerous um uh, yeah so that was the first story story a real training institute kwa nyamza stop gay story rudini kwa channel ko jai watch rudi hapo episode ilikuwa episode ka gani episode 3 or 4 something sa skumbuki um uh, but i think one of the things for me in hit after kupiga story likuwa how reckless we used to live na vile as human beings manza tufikiria ngi nini tunafanya saa zingine and and how dangerous it was as in kupiga story likuwa on that day very easily i would have died na ilikuwa kitu stupid as in tulikuwa tuna fight juu ya drama festivals <laughs> so after tumepiga like four episodes pale wakurugenzi ni wajanja sana wakakama waka discover kitu hawa wakurugenzi hawa mbona wanatupatia stories kwa IG ni sababu wanataka kutupatia stories ndogo si ndio juu hiyo time IG atuko tunaona ka long stories zinaweza enda sana so what we used to do tulikuwa tuna keep our stories a bit short Actually the longest story on IG was I think 16 minutes. Most of them were 14 14 14. So maze wa kurugenzi wakatushtuka wakatuambia hapana hiyo mchezo mko nayo tumeiona. We know what you are doing. Hama hiyo Instagram kama mnaogopa kuweka content mrefu Instagram. Ingieni YouTube quick fast. Haraka faster. Tunataka vipindi za nusu saa tukienda one hour. Nashindwa hii na bundles. Bundles wendi unanunua. <laughs> Wakurugenzi walianza kunibuli day one. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that first I was very hesitant. So <laughs> nilikuwa namwambia building is in gathering an audience for YouTube is not easy. Kuamka tu what you want from zero subscribers wanze kujenga YouTube page mpaka ifike numbers zenye zinaanza ku make sense. Ifike mahali unaweza monetize content. Nilikuwa na feel. Hey, so at first I was very hesitant. But then after seeing how much people were asking for that content on youtube nikamwambia okay haya tujaribu hii kitu so abeli akakama kanicha pia niaje kuna hii hi show napiga hii hi, uh, instagram tunda kwenda youtube nikamwambia hata nilikuwa ni chai cheki ah uh, kanuliza sawa tunakachezaje kamwambia vuta stool acha niseme vile nasemanga kwa show yake vuta stool weka hapo so tukaanza nikamwambia kwanza unajua uko na nikamuza uko na gmail akasema uko na gmail kamwambia kwa uko na gmail already uko na youtube uh, channel akashtuka akanuliza haya 
Ukiwa na Gmail uko na YouTube channel eh. Kwambia okay but sasa tunahitaji kuactivate to set content to brand tufanye tuifanye kwa channel yenu kisearch utaipata. Eh so akaka hapo tukaanza tukafungua tukaingia hapa le YouTube tukactivate channel yake. Ah uh, nikampigia ma settings kadhaa pale. Ah uh, nikamsaidia kuupload the first videos. So actually initially ikianza anza mimi ndo nilikuwa na manage alikonga uh, kiwa na content ananiletea ana, ana ama na video uh, kuna tamal kuna video kwa ladisa sababu za usiku kuniambia jo nilikuwa na upload imefika 40% ikakwama no money gani <laughs> ya tunaangalia shida iko wapi ya yeah, na hivyo ndo channel ilianza ilianza kusonga so at the time maze brother yangu alikuwa na watch brother yangu for those who may not know ni kijana anaitwa Jesse aka Luku Baridi Luku Baridi akasikia a a a a a umkurugenzi anataka kuingia YouTube ataenda ameparara vile anakuanga ameparara hapo Instagram haiwezi haiwezi lazima tungarishe huko kijana and that's how Jesse came on board we hey 2020 my friend ah wachana na hiyo mwaka yo mwaka maze Nairobi ilikuwa imeniharakisha proper nakumbuka 2020 around uh, feb nini nimechapa chapa job alafu prezona yakatangaza eh first case ya corona so raye kaimta we niko na shughuli itoke <laughs> wapi buda nakwambia nimekaa wiki ya kwanza wiki ya pili eh hey, ushika mtaa mpaka yani unasikia kuendesha suitcase kwa nyumba umeboeka deadly So ndo kidogo kidogo maze napiga mtandao nini kidogo kidogo naangalia eh hey, hey, hey. Abel ame upload eh, kitu fulani hivi mtandao alikuwa na crash na sana Ah nikasikiza sinema nini lakini sikupenda hiyo look Eh hey, kijana alikuwa amepiga pull neck fulani yani ushaona akinunua ilikuwa 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 long sleeve but alikuwa amepiga mpaka kaka vest Nikasema hapa jo hapa itabidi nimesaidia kijana ni ndugu yangu so lazima tusaidiane so nakumbuka siku mu, siku muulizaga hata eh ni aje utapiga look zi niliingia vichochoro zangu nikatafuta look yangu baridi suti moja ya white i think mama eh niliambiwa youtube mtu aingiaje ni kama anaingia kwa bafu eh hapa kuna stylist anaitwa Jesse ameniambia nikizoea kuvaa hivi mimi na wamama <laughs> Eh hey, suti moja safi sana ya white. Nikampelekea. Kwanza nilijua siezi deal na yeye nikasema acha ni deal na Judy. Ndio atoe hiyo maziwa. <laughs> so manze nikaletea kijana kaoga. I think nilianza kumuosha episode ya tatu ama ya nne. Ya tano ya tano ya tano ya, ya tano. So kijana tukapiga luku nini? Hivyo tu ndio tulianza hii kitu. Nikaanza story ya Makladi na tukasema tufanye hii East Af. Wakurugenzi wacheni tu niwaambie ukweli hii channel hii channel maze god ndio amekuwa tu akituendesha yani akitusukuma nilianza tu kukutana na wase yani wako willing tu ku come through for sisi mbaya mbaya i remember right before to ingia youtube nili get a call from a guy called kelvin kelvin atakuwa atatusha i meet before alinistuaga ig some previous uh, i think sometime towards uh, the end of 2019 if i'm not wrong akanistua ig akaniambia ni aje bro maze niliko wax place flani imekatika in case ukisikia mahali eh, ni, ni, ni chapie maze ni come to pige bana jo eh, things are thick siko place fit sana so vile kelvin aliniambia hivyo maze around 2019 huko nika nikabonga na maboy wangu hapo kina bob filo nikauza ni aje bana tunaweza kuwa tunahitaji mtu wa graphics hapa e, niko na boys mazee ako mbaya kama kuna nafasi mazee akam through inaweza kuwa poa akanjoa ina mambo ambayo kijana akam tuone vitu gani tunaweza do so nika call kelvin kelvin akakam na akapiga so katikati ya kupiga hapo tu bado hata kukasa i think alikuwa na sisi for like a month now aka get job fit yani juu hii time alikuwa nje mazee alikuwa na apply na apply na apply so alikam kwetu for like one month then aka get eh, call back so ikabidi ametuambia mazee shukran sana mmekuwa wa true wacheni ni ni changamke nilikuwa nime apply place fulani wako sawa wacheni kimbie uko na tukam release akaenda so fast forward to 2020 wakati nafanya hii kitu mazee kelvin ashagundua eh hey, bana ule boys anafanya kitu youtube lakini show zake zinaanza tu 
hakuna kitu hakuna opening montage hakuna nini na anaanza tu mwami ni kama hata news mtu anzagi hivyo at least kuna kwa <laughs> so kelvo maze imagine akaenda akafungua mashini yake akatengeneza opening sequence ya young and stupid then akanitumia kwa email akanicall akaniambia ni aje bro ulinifanyia kitu maze pale 2019 sijawahi sahau ile tu hali ya kurudisha mkono nimekufanyia opening montage i hope you like it wadao hivyo ndo tuliingia youtube like a boss tuko na opening sequence wewe we. <laughs> alinijenga mbaya um opening sequence ime come sasa hii opening montage hizi enda silent lazima mziki ya company hizi hizi visuals nika call boy wangu mzee anaitwa Saif Joe mzee Saif Joe huo ni malaika mwingine mzee I don't think at a safe all in the charge kunitengenezea mziki ya young and stupid your time. Aliniambia ni aje bro mimi naona ile kazi unafanya pale kwa mtandao nataka tu nikusupport. Wacha nikutengenezee track, nitumie hiyo picha kelvo, hiyo opening sequence kelvo mekutumia ni kuundia track ushikanishe ingia YouTube like a boss maze. Aso wili walinifanyia hiyo kitu bana for free. The fifth episode actually was our first episode on YouTube. But sasa tuliko the four episodes we had already recorded tulienda zote tukazia upload zote including now the fifth episode. So after hapo tunaona subscribers ndio hao. Hey, subscribers ndio hao. Ah, ikafika mahali sasa wakaanza kudai. Episode moja kila wiki hey, toshi. We need more content. Sasa kambia mkuru you know what we will do. Tutawaambia sasa. Si wanadai more content. Wakurugenzi wanadai more content. Two episodes per week. Haya, ndio tuwapatie more content. Pale YouTube tufikishe 20,000 subscribers. Na wacha nikwambie. <laughs> Little did we know that every week after the first episode uh, went on YouTube. Every week after that tulikuwa tunapata 10,000 followers every single week. So 20,000 uh, subscribers two weeks <laughs> tulikuwa na 20k subscribers. Kitu tulikuwa tunafikiria ah it is to take one month. One month ndio tufike 20k subscribers. So we were like ah wacha tuwapatie hiyo. By the time ina tunamaliza one month tutakuwa tumefikiria nini nyingine tunaweza wapatia. Two weeks later we were at 20k subscribers. So right before maze to indulge uh, kwa hii new show Msiox Uh, the greatest producer in this country uh, decimal records alikuwa na show yake ya covid pale kwa mtandao ilikuwa inajita decimal chronicles so nilikuwa hapo na watch decimal chronicles ya kwanza ile ilikuwa sometime in june uh, may or june may june there may i think of 2020 eh nika notice maze graphics zake zina kafiti sana zina weather dead at this particular time ule boy wangu Kelvo mwenye alinifanyia graphics for free sasa hii hata siezi muengage sababu ile place amepata kazi ameshikana huko mbaya sana so ikakuwa acha nitafute mse mwingine wa graphics nime watch the simul chronicles hapa naona graphics za jamaa hapo zinaweza mbaya so nika call msiox nikamzaniaje bro nani amekufanyia graphics za za the simul chronicles akanjo ah ini boy fulani anaitwa Johnny acha nikutumie na namba Msiox anantumia namba hivi. Maze na gundua ni namba niko nayo. Jamaa anaitwa Johnny Cash, boy mmoja mtrue sana to shape gana ye job time ya Blaze Safaricom. Eh navutia Johnny teke teke na mwambie aje buda nimekuwa nikifanya vitu mtandao. Niambia buda unaje explain nini? Nimekuwa nikiona jo. Mimi ni fan kuruka unatakaje? Nikamwambia sasa bra maze tuna show mpya tunataka kuanzisha hapa na maze sina graphics jo itakuwaaje utaka mtrue. Akaambia worry no more. You know why? Cause I got you. <laughs> na hivyo ndio Johnny Cash alinitengenezea opening sequence ya our new show which was Celebrity First Encounters. Tumeingia pale YouTube bana tumeshagonga 20,000 subscribers bana in like 2 weeks tunajisikia tuko on top of the world mbaya hey, my good friend Timothy Kimani alifanya blunder moja ambayo ili end up kukua one of the most effective marketing boosts ever 
Alikuja na kiburi akaanza kusema oh unaturingia hapa juu ya 20,000 subscribers kama wewe ni ndume si ufikishe 60,000 subscribers in one month nitakupatia 60,000 <laughs> makosha makosha <laughs> He was very excited because he had 20,000 subscribers. I, I think for us we were doing around 400,000. So <laughs> <laughs> So nikamhurumia sana. Nikaona ya kwamba kama hizi ni 20,000 zimefika hivi. Najia kigonga 100,000. Najia kigonga 60,000. So out of my sheer nini ya kusupport a young and upcoming artist. <laughs> Nikashika kijana mkono na nakumbuka ya kwamba nilisema unajua saa zingine unaropokwa unaropokwa nikaropokwa niko na 60000 ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba saa hiyo corona kumbukeni ndugu hata wenzangu ni corona ndio imegonga mwamba imefanya mambo sasa hata hiyo 60 ni kutaja tu bei unajua hata ukibageni unataja uko na gapi hii siwezi chukua na 1500 na usemi uko na gapi so mimi nikasema niko na 60000 jamaa kumbe pia yeye corona ilikuwa imemtandika He, he 60,000 si alichukulia serious <laughs> yakambia watu wase anasema tu spokonga tukigonga sijui nini in the next one week ah ah ah, ah we kabla sija nini we mkumbuke tu subscribe ni eh kuna mtu ameni challenge akaniambia nikifika 60,000 by end of june ananipatia 60,000 shillings <laughs> na mna mjua mna mjua kijana mkonda mahali mna mjua msikubali shetani yashinde tafadhali 60,000 by end of june please hii nawaomba please Thank you. <laughs> One week. Nataka 20,000 paka 60 kweli. <laughs> na na hiyo hesabu kumbe ili ni nini? Kumbe hii abu ili fail. It actually waligonga 60,000 na wakapita mpaka wale watu wanaulizanga 60k. Napata na mtu town. Ananiuliza 60k ya mkuru sasa anashindwa. <laughs> Tafadhali kwa, kwa minajiri ya maenini tuseme tu tulikupatia <laughs> ndio niache kuuliza maswali so you have had it from the horse's mouth alipatiwa thank you <laughs> so towards the end of the first season eh maze nishakula 60000 ya mtu okay siku kula ji wako nilipa <laughs> but maze eh, mambo iko sawa nikaenda show ya jalas jalas by the way ali come through sana kwa sukuma channel big up shout out to jalas maze kazi safi So nikatoka hapo eh, nikaitwa Kiss. I think ni through interview nilipiga kwa Jalas watu wa Kiss wali nice wakaniita interview huko. Nilikuwa na Kamene hiyo time. In fact, Jalango nilikuwa kwa interview ya Kiss on Friday. Jalango was to start work on Monday, the following Monday. Ndio alikuwa anaingia Kiss officially. So nikiwa huko mazee nakutana na Bazu anaitwa Maina Kageni. Maina Kageni. Maina ananiambia maze bro eh nimekona check channel yenu maze nyie wa say you want to something na acha nikwambie i have money for you bro nataka tufanye na wewe advertising in town watu wa tea wewe ile pesa niko nayo ya kukupatia tu ya, ya kusukuma vitu au ta fry tanwas so nikatoka hapo nikiwa excited deadly maze ha wadao hata sadani nilikuwa nimefika home napata simu kutoka kwa jamaa anaitwa Richard Njao aka a star and a channel pale youtube inaitwa cta check it out maze cta ni it's mind blowing unafa by the kauja experience hiyo channel ingia hapa maze whatever a star told me on that phone call literally changed everything so me i looked at what abel was giving and abel will gonna nipatia value value is three things education inform um, inspiration entertainment Abel was given all of this thing positive entertainment by the way yeah, entertainment to Kifua because there are other people who did other kinds of entertainment during covid shindwe it was the wrong kind of entertainment you are doing and as you can see they no longer exist for longevity you need to be given positive entertainment now when i was watching Abel's channel yani that thing was inspiring me insane i was being educated and i was laughing like crazy you're speaking to my mind my body and my soul through the content so that was what the value that i was getting so many kapiga home say i told him abel eh najua covid me kugonga but eh tafadhali please you need to start making money from your channel and what you just need to do ni kutengeneza pay bill in fact pewa namba ya msia atakupatia hiyo pay bill pewa hiyo namba mpigie atakupatia um buy goods ama pay bill and then put that thing on your video and begin to ask 
Abel akaanza kuniambia do you know bro unaniambia nini bro mimi sasa hii nimepata nime maina kageni ame line up advertising for me ame line up galo wewe unafanya nini kuniambia ati nisichukue hii do akurugenzi wa chanis wa dangaje mimi my very my first my initial reaction was hi hi afu watu wana tubebaji hata kani kama tunaanza kuomba hizi na kani kama ni kama tumeanza kukwa watu wa mbegu ya 310 <laughs> hapo hapo kidogo ilikuwa ina ikanipatia wasiwasi but then again he give me an explanation for why we should do exactly that but i kept telling him you don't want to bombard your or change who you are so that so that you can align to corporate needs so that they can now begin giving you money and then now you mention them so that the audience can get you don't have to do that you already giving people value for me i was like kwani shida iko wapi unajua asia te ni watu unaenda ukinyonga haunyonge ama unanyonga unanyonga wewe hakuna watu unanyonga so for me likuwa yeah by the way abu said it tuone kama wa kenya wako willing ku support financially na hii ni show wanapata for free na wanisha pia wanaweza lipa ku watch movies zetu na content zenye si produce so for me it was pretty kitu kesho like iweke saa hii saa hii hii ndio itatuambia where we are headed as a company and as an industry in future so uh, for me ilikuwa tu bang by the spot on let's try this thing if it works that's it to me change life here content creators in this country the producer in me and the manager in me <laughs> I was like then we have to give value to wakorogenzi. So cuz they can't give you their 10 shillings, 50 shillings, a thousand shillings for some people. Alafu bado tunawapatia content yenye tume record na simu. So for me the first requirement yenye niliambia mkorogenzi ni kwamba we have to go to the next level. Yeah? No more recording na simu. Tuna need kwanza ku assemble crew yetu. We need a crew, we need proper cameras, we need to do this the professional way. The other requirement was new content. Cuz by this particular time, the first season of Young and Stupid uh and the first season of Celebrity First Encounters zimeisha. So, where are we going? Where do we go from here? Like we need new content. Cuz as in lazima to elevate, lazima to get to the next level. So, that is where now uh, stories of my life was born and eventually later headline hitters. So right before uh, to 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 ingia sasa hii season ya pili. Hii season ya pili ndio sasa revolutionary yenye sasa tunataka tulete mpaka wakurugenzi watu support ni nini, nini right before to ingia hapo. Hey, I receive a very interesting text from who? From one Josh of Amos and Josh. Wadao. Hiyo ndio siku by the way kama mwanaume nilibalance machozi kwa macho. Yani Josh kila alinifanyia my friend. Wah, wow, sijai sahau. The first time I ever interacted with Abel, I don't really remember where we met, but I remember when we we interacted like in a very on a work level. Uh, Abel Mtua came through for Amos and Josh in a big way, in a very big way. Um I remember we were shooting a video for a song Zingua. And we had planned with one of Kenya's top celebrities to come through but he didn't show. <laughs> he didn't show. The day of the video no show. So sijui tulikuwa tumepata na wapi because I remember I'm the one who made the call and I was like Abel ni aje unaweza come through for shoot yetu and actually mwenye alikuwa anafaa kukama kukam na pia demo mwenye alikuwa anafaa kukua na yeye kwa hiyo video hakukam so I called Abel and I think I also called uh, Benta if I remember well yeah so they came through for us in a big way last minute like okay na shoot wapi sawa na fuck akakam tu and I was like yo this is a big deal and this is abel mutua they just your kidogo it's abel mutua it's not like you is a is is a big deal and he came through and um 
he never asked for anything he just came short ilikuwa normal one of the best videos i think as emos and josh we've ever had hilarious to go not check up set like mad so i just i've always wanted to do him a solid like just to maybe reciprocate and say thank you in a way that i thought ingekuwa tangible enough and so once he started the channel it was like perfect now there's a perfect opportunity for me to say thank you because as uh, we were putting up a production unit me and a couple of friends of mine shout out to them the producer is Jamie the guy the owner of the studio is called Warooks so we we're putting up a production unit and out i told them we have to do this for Abel Mutua's channel lazima tufanye kitu plus i'm a fan anyway so yeah we went ahead did the jingle i uh, think we all maraniko hiya maraniko there kama marami ani fala na madea Yeah and we did it. Alafu to come to me uh, with a couple of beats thinking he will choose one like either hip hop or reggae or waltz or something. Guy just wanted the whole thing as is. I was like yo ulikuwa na fault kwa to beat moja. But uh it was it is such an honor to still see it being used. Um yeah. Help in our bamba. <laughs> So right before that season 1 ishe ndio season 1 yote tulipiga na simu but right right before ishe nili somebody paid me a a, a visit kwa office pale pale Philip this guy alikuwa anaitwa Cl- Clifford no Clinton Clinton Andambi so tuliongea kwa phone kwanza mara ya kwanza eh, nikaona hiyo jina si familia sijawahi msikia akaniambia mazeni aje mkuru sisi ni mafan sana wa kitu unapiga na tungependa sana kukuona mazeni naweza kuja kwa ofisi yako lini tuonge tuonge nikamwambia ina mambo eh, nikamwambia the following week on monday welcome kama utanipata and he shows up na kama kwa ofisi pale eh, naona okay yeah even the face eh, kidogo ina kafamilia lakini sikumbuki tume tumeonana wapi na, na andambis ni andambi <laughs> tulikuwa na mtaga dambis so tukaongea akaniambia mzee bro unapiga kazi safi sana sisi tunataka tukupatie quality na kafadhali juu tunaweza tell una shoot na simu sisi tuko na mashini zimelala pale tunaweza kama tu shoot hizi show zako mzee pro bono for free atutaki hata shilingi <laughs> wadao hapo ndo unajuaga Nairobi tunaishi vibaya ushajua Nairobi tunaishi mbaya mpaka mtu akikupromise kitu mzuri unajishuku kwa nini free why mbona huyu mtu anataka kuniibia unataka kuniibia aje wewe so of course nilijishuku kwa nini free tuko smack in the middle of a pandemic bora unataka ku shoot free but nikajiambia okay uh, kama ukweli hii channel imembamba anatafuta design yote ya kuingia by all means nikaona okay maybe uni boy tu moja industrious ameamua wacha tufanyie mkuru kazi nikamwambia ina mambo wewe tukutane wapi tukutane kwa set the, during my next shoot tuanze ku, kugonga ah no no nikamwambia wacha nimalize season sorry sorry i lied wacha nimalize hii season ndio imebakisha kai episode mbili then tutakutana tugonge hii kitu sasa sasa na hivyo ndio ili happen tulifunga season then wakati tulikuwa tuna shoot uh, behind the scenes ya TNT 1 ndio nilikuwa naanza season mpya ya Young and Stupid and Celebrity First Encounters hiyo ndio siku dambi za likam set na it is on that day that i discover Clinton and Dambi is actually one half of Christ Cycles so Dambi zamefika pale tunajua sasa hapa ni kugonga kuua but i discover bana dambi za jakuja peke yake me in my mind alikuwa ameniambia anaweza kuja na maybe one assistant Dambi zamekuja na a lady and a gentleman. Eh, eventually bana ndio tunagundua the gentleman ni Samsonia anamsaidia pale kwa camera operation na kuna mrembo pale anaitwa Sara. Sara <laughs> alijipata tu hapo. <laughs> and then uh, tuliko tuna watch videos on YouTube mixes za YouTube. After mix moja ikaisha kuna video ilingia. Um, say pale anapiga story kwa bench kwa not bench kwa stool because uh, kuna mse mmoja akakomment ah 
umeona hii eh ah mimi nimeona uje uje kukiona ah sasa wengi lakini nje amja amja kwa mkifollow up vitu kaizi zingine ah ni moja tu nimeona mwingine anasema mimi nimekuwa nimekiona zote so idea ka kam juu sasa sisi ni producers pale uh, mini director au photography uh, pia mini photographer Ah uh, best yangu tulikuwa tunaka na Dambis director Dambis tulikuwa nafanya music videos mostly na my dokis So tukaona ah by the way idea juu na shoot na simu ah uh, si tunaweza mpigia tumfanyie kitu Of course juu atu juani na yeye sana tunaweza anza tunaweza mfanyia pro bono ah uh, tuone vile itakuwa Ah Dambis akachukua simu akapigia Abel Sijoli tu namba yake wapi? Akampigia apparently Abel akamwambia it was on a Thursday afternoon hiyo time. Akamwambia do hivi kuja Monday tuonane tuchekeane. Kuja pale Philip kwa ofisi akatumiwa pin na lo, nini location kuja tuonane. Ah uh, Dambi zalienda wakapatana and then akanipigia baadaye akaniambia Abel amesema twende na equipment yetu na twende tukiwa tayari kupiga shoot ya kwanza ndio tuone vile itakuwa ah tukaenda tukapiga um hiyo time tulikuwa tunapatana Evergreen Evergreen Park uh, there was a BTS walikuwa na shoot hiyo time na Philip Productions uh, for TTNT1 so tukapatana pale na kulikuwa na wasanii kadhaa hapo um of course tulimali, tulingoja wamalize shoot yao and then tukafanya yetu ya mkurugenzi so tukamaliza and then um, at the end of it Ah uh, kila mtu akapewa credit zake pale. Um appreciation ikakam juu ya uh, tuliambiwa tume appreciate you juu tumefanya job poa. It was clean work. It was a different um, thing to me to me anza kwa hiyo. Cuz initially alikuwa na shoot na simu na stool. It time to shoot na he. Then I remember Brenda Jones decides to to say I I have a WhatsApp group. Swipe up and join. So I swiped up and joined. And uh, a week later on a Friday we were told to introduce ourselves so uh, introduction ikakuja so I was there introducing myself my name is Sarah Njoroge eh uh, nikajeka founder of nikajeka <laughs> <laughs> founder of Salimo Africa and Salimo Productions eh uh, 101 then i see a guy eh uh, aka text hapo akasema my name is uh, director Dambis i am an intern in Adambi's production. So I was concerned, how are you an intern in your own production? So I decided to slide in the DM. <laughs> so this was 2020. I never left home. The only two reasons I left home was one, I was going to school because we had a practical. Number two, that is the time I met I was meeting Dambi's for the first time. Na walikuwa kwa gari na Samsonia. Akaniambia we are going for a shoot. Hata akoniambia na nani we are going for a shoot then we go for the date. I saw sit kind of shoot. Eh uh, ile time nilifika gari imefika and the people I'm seeing hadi nikasema sishuki gari cuz I was fast track. Right? Yes, fast track. Then interestingly, sikon meona sele. Mimi nikaona sele na nampenda. So I said I want to go and have a selfie with sele. Funny enough I didn't even get to have a selfie with sele. But fine. So that is the only thing ili nifanya nishuke. At uh, 21 behind the scenes ika, ikakuwa short and uh, we were done and then uh, uh, dambi za kaniambia now tuingie kazi so nikashanga tulikuwa tunakuja twende date now we have to what is happening sana nikamwambia nieleze vizuri so hapo nipo kaniambia atuko tunakuja e shoot tulikuwa tunakuja shoot ya mkurugenzi so tukasukuma sukuma mazee kipindi na na, na dambi's eh, samsonia na na sara na bimkuru then nikafika point mazee dambi za kalemewa deadly i think Sijui kana za sema nishukuru Mungu hii channel ya ya wakuru inakoga na kismat mbaya. Ukishapiga squad hapa wiki mbili tatu nne, eh hey, makazi zinakutafuta mbaya. <laughs> so ilifika point mzee dambi za kakuwa overwhelmed angeza endelea na sisi. So ikabidi mzee tumemrelease. Kumbukeni bana dambi alikuwa amekuja mpaka na equipment. Meaning dambi za ki exit. Hatuna equipment, tunarudi zero. 
So since kipindi hizi small major tuna equipment ikabidi nifanye nini? Nichukue equipment zangu za Philit Productions. Unajua Philit hiyo ina shooting shows za TV, show kubwa kubwa. So hata equipment yao ni heavyweight. So kucheza na equipment ya Philit inamaanisha pia personnel lazima ikuwe heavy. So hapo watukua na budi ila ku introduce four other people. <laughs> Mheshimiwa mwaka 2020 ikianza na kumbuka nilikuwa nimemaliza tulikuwa tunapiga project uh, tulikuwa na shoot hula balwested uh, mimi nilikuwa kwa project uh, moja peke yake so kulikuwa na hula balwested ilikuwa inaendelea na undercover so by then nilikuwa nimemaliza hula balu so niko tu pale home nimetulia alafu unajua kuna ile mentality ya ah, si nimemaliza project ni nini nijivinjari ninunueka kuku ni kule pesa ikaniambia bye after bye nini kakuja covid niitie huyo kijana wa kuku huyo muite <sighs> sema kimeumana nimeka home landlord pia ataki kujua i think ilikuwa almost ile point ya ilikuwa tu after i don't know three or five days manze mingela lenje cause one nime zoya hii maisha ya after project tumia pesa vile nataka tumia ya saa hii hiyo ya kesho itajileta but covid ni nani ikaniambia leo this time this time najua mmeifanya <sighs> so tushamaliza um undercover ndio inaendelea covid ndio isha hit first case nini so mimi nimetulia tu home kidogo abeli akanipigia cuz i think your time uh, ilikuwa samsonia na dambi walikuwa wameshikilia so so i think your time ilikuwa time yenye walikuwa wameshikana plus unajua ilikuwa weekday so mimi nimetulia tu pale mtaani na shindwa eh leo leo naenda kula nini nitalala wapi kapata simu aniaje cha mpenzi kaambia fiti kanambia uko maeneo gani niko tu hapa tuko nyumba nimejifungia najiita mkutano akaniambia unaweza fika ofisi majioni jioni alinipiga round saa tano buda nilisema lunch itanipata huko nika <laughs> make sure nimefika hiyo time mimi na chakula wewe unasikianga hii ile hii ile simu manzi unaweza toka unaweza toka ndende nje alafu urudi kwa nyumba spishi sijui kama uta eh ushawahi sweat na unasikia baridi ya uwezi explain cuz msezi understand umetoka kwa ngori na kaje hii ni covid kila mse yako home work ukiwa kwa ofisi ofisi gani sisi ni watu wa field siezi ambia mkoro okay ukiwa kwako napiga close up mimi nikiwa huko kwangu haiwezi so yende kwa kwa the official visit manze nikasema hey we 2020 eh shaji ita mkutano unapata ndio ulishafika like mwaka imekukimbiza design kesho ni siku ya rent na ujui ndio inatoka wapi manze mwanume mzima jo umekaa hivi tu ni machozi tu ni venye tu zinamwagika saidi ya ndani but generally hapo uh, ndo naambia kula pause uh, uki track back until march eh hey, i think date that thing ndio kwanza ilikuwa bashi ya murio wangu first corona kes ah tukafikiria in a light alafu hiyo time ilikuwa ngai ile time ya ai si ma black sa to get iki tu nini nini ah so tulikuwa bia alafu hiyo time madia mejambia ah buda na siku ma show mbili alafu bado naishi single. Kwani pia wewe uwezi kuwa na bafu kwa hao. Eh nikachikia nyanya pesa na kupaga kiburi. Ah sasa nishaenda nimetafuta one bedroom. Alafu tume break wera. Tumeenda lockdown, complete lockdown ile ya kwanza. So uko hapo kwa one bedroom yako hata ina vitu. Sio unajua sasa ile design umetoka kwa single room na kama one bedroom. Uko tu hapo rent sai ni double au na wera uko home so tulisukuma hivyo kutoka kitu march hadi i think june kuna time nirudi wera one month 
So the first time nili land kwa kurugenzi ilikuwa nga, I think September. So hii time I guess juu kulikuwa na kamera mbili, moja iko na mse wa Kuman. So I guess hapo ndo nili land nili land to wa kurugenzi. Uh, the first the first video t- the first senior to shoot ilikuwa ilikuwa ile ushafika 100k subscribers. Uh, so na mimi mseo na kujanga two time ni soft life. But me the moment tu niliona ga hiyo first episode ya sana nilikuwa like kunse tunaza work na eh. Na hiyo time hiyo time sana ili end up saa kukuwa part of the crew manzi ilikuwa dream come true. Jumse kutoka way back kwa high school primary school uko hivyo manze nilitakaga tu ku meet Freddy Abeli hii ndio ile mwaka sasa so na check ile mwaka tulikesha tukipiga manduru happy new year ni nini ni, this is the year so along the way hapo hivyo mbele mambo zilianza tu kwa fit covid ndio ka kama tutaendelea na job baadhi itabidi sijio quarantine kwanza sijua so happy mwe test alafu hizo test tulikuwa tunaonyeshwa venye ni uncomfortable Sijini ni zingi zwadi wapi sijini ni ah kabidi tumechorea hela kiasi So around that time Abeli pia alikuwa amanza kupiga ma story hapo ni nini nini So tulikam tuka tuli resume shoot kiasi but Abeli alikuwa ashaanza kupiga shughuli na kumbuka the first episode unofficially unofficially nilimpigia ga episode fulani akiwa na filo ile ya RTI hapo ndo nilifinya sauti ya kwanza that time nilipiga tu location sound na nikaacha hivyo so moving forward alifika point aka aka need ku okay ilibidi ame step up kidogo jo issues hapa kule <laughs> so ile issue yake lakini so aka step up aka itisha my equipment zingine hapo bigibigi hapo sasa najua trick fika ni equipment bigibigi hapo hivyo mamluki wana step in So alinvutia akienda kupiga episode gani Eh hey, pia pili ilikuwa episode nyingine hapo baba ilikuwa young and stupid na njugush inajita defense mechanism So tulifinya pale Limark Eh hey, ilinipata eh hey, nilikuwa mahali pengine kimaisha wewe <laughs> Shake hivi unaomba tumboke jipe tu job tu ikao tu hivi eh lafika kama so ya kengi hapo tukapiga episode hiyo ya kwanza shake and fit at least kulikuwa na improvement personally on sound from the previous episode nilikuwa nimepiga unofficially na filo so ina njugush nilikuwa nimeanza kuguza guza post kiasi nikipiga location naenda na guza guza post kiasi lakini wa kuruni nani hawa ni watu wanakuweka on toast ndio hiyo mimi hapo hivyo ai badi la bidu step up tena sika bidu ni improve na post kiasi pia nika familiarize my staff kadha yeah na sasa hivi tunapiga shughuli po ana cheki so far watu wameitikia so na think i think shughuli ko sawa sai kale ka short break due to covid hapo kidogo maisha ilikuwa inanifanya ile ile kitu uh, and then before that actually hata before your day one ya job nilikonga na imba mimi nataka kuwakia beli nataka kuwakia beli nikaimbia sledge sledge ah, i think sledge alisikia malilio yangu do the first thing after beli alimwambia direct eh, anataka editor sledge aliniambia aya umekuwa ukitaka show chukua hiyo sasa the first encounter hiyo ya kuingia kwa abel mtuas then the first day of the job we Shida. Manze ilikuwa a whole best up situation. Ju at that time sikuwa nimeshika system ya ya Abeli bado, mi bado nilikuwa the other side ya film, ya program. And then kulikuwa na particular way yenye program ilikuwa in run. So the first episode ilikuwa young and stupid. Nakumbuka vizuri alikuwa ameka kwa istaf ya nyasi hey ya yeah, alikuwa ameka kwa hey ilikuwa tu a whole acha oh, nisiseme tu ni madogo danio but luckily akani show hatufanyi hivyo nitakaa mtukutane juu at this time naanza job na hatujai kutana ndio akani show nitakuja 
then after saka kama ofe tuka take through ya one two three four even do inaenda even do inaenda and then ika pick up from there then niko hapa wa maze wadao that first episode yenye maze tuli tuli skuma na pay bill pale eh hey, tuliona maajabu <laughs> Nakwambia hiyo time nakumbuka tulikuwa kwa on the way to Narok I think tulikuwa naenda Masai Mara or something Tukiwa kwa njia ya kwenda Masai Mara kuma ko, kuma maema hii kutoka maema hii Jamaa yako kwa simu Again he goes all in Atawale watu wote walicheza kwa nini ya mkurugenzi kwa hiyo till inakuja na jina ya msee Ati sasa lazima save hiyo namba Alafu wa text him to thank you so much Kutoka maema hii na huko juu ana text mtu mmoja mmoja thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you by the time tunafika Masai Mara hata tunavaa tujuke thank you thank you thank you mkurugenzi thank you thank you anamaliza anabadilishana na bibi yake bibi yake anachukua thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i was like i think this is it yeah poleni nimekatia yake mani kidogo njugush eh ju after hapo alinipigia kuniuliza kama mzee mwenzangu that is abel mtua kama ako sawa kwa sababu Nilimsumbua sana from Nairobi to Masai Mara jamaa ameshinda tukwa simu hapa thank you thank you thank you so alikuwa ananiuliza huyu mzee tunaweza msaidiaje but ah uh, bila na shinanga nikisema hii Nairobi ni mimi nimekuja kusaidia Abel Mutua nimemtoa <laughs> places nimemtoa eh so nikamwambia bro why why mbona hizi vitu zinakusumbua ah uh, so yeah so i co-founded a, a tech company and one of the things that we offer is bulk sms's and come bro is a solution zot and konazo we will see why worry so squeeze ya kiongea na nyenye wa kurugenzi ya need kwenda hapo manually no uh, we have that dashboard that uh, software developers can connect to and send your bulk sms's we do payments we do any tech solutions you're thinking of kuona tu wakurugenzi wameikubali mazee wame accept na in fact wanatuambia hapo chini buda ni vile hii episode imekuja katikati ya mwezi ikifika mwisho wa mwezi buda utafurahi the impact <laughs> has been there na tumeiona in so many different ways there's a there's a, a, a lady i met in my friend's birthday and that lady shocked me um um sana itangwa mkurugenzi in by everyone anyone mwenye anamjua reason being amenunua kiti kwake na every time aki watch mkurugenzi ana keting hapo ku watch tukamuliza why do you do things akaniambia yeye kuna time alikuwa so depressed like life yake ilikuwa imeenda to places that yeye mwenye hange hangeza ku well alikuwa na manage but the moment alianza ku watch mkurugenzi and everything impact yani alipata to a point ali rise ile ali believe in herself raised and rose and everything alafu one morning aliamua mimi nanunua kiti other than other six kwanza alinunua ya yellow jewel ni, ni mkamba but a yellow seat sat it sits there every time ana watch mkurugenzi leo anaweza kupiga story za mkurugenzi a to z every story zote that shocked me kitu fa ilifanya nikajua sasa hapa is as a it's not a choice it's an obligation ni messages nili get kutoka kwa wase when your life imewaita meeting imewachapa viboko hii town maze guys who are on the verge of losing it then napata messages from these same guys wakiniambia maze bro mimi bana two days from now singekuwa hapa singefaa kuwa hapa ni bahati tu nilikutana na channel yako and that's the reason why I'm alive today in 2019 uh, after i failed uh, my 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 last uh, studio i uh, mainly uh, nilisema nime give up na maisha if uh, cause animation ni passion nikasema ah acha mi uh, nikanyage niende ni uh, i do uh, ni jiwe tu and uh, 2019 nikafika nikasema before then uh, i can redo my 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 studio work and uh, get it back to school and then graduate and uh, start a hustle 
2019 nikafika April nikaendea attachment letter I started uh, searching for internships luckily I found uh, Viku animations and uh, I joined in uh, at Viku animations I did my my uh, my attachment and uh, still I have got the depression and the suicide uh, thoughts still I haven't talked to anybody uh, the last uh, week of October because in the Elkonga deadline I resubmit the uh, the work ili uwekwe kwa list ya ku graduate 3 November uh, nikapeleka job na hikuchukuliwa and I was so devastated and to make it even worse mid November 2019 machine yangu ika ikachapa and uh, kazi ya, ya, ya job ilikonga imefotea yote cause mindi onikonga nina handle most of the of the work and uh, nika nika sema shule nayo imeleta imegonga ukuta so what do I do I just go and uh, kill myself so I went for uh, piritons and uh, so, uh, rat rat nika kunywa and uh, uh, nika jisikia the following day jioni and I, I wasn't feeling quite well. Um, Zazi alikonga meenda shule kujua what, what's going on and akaeleza and uh, akarudi tukakiti na yetu kongea. Nikaanza kufanya job na kazi ya uh, machine ya bishti yangu. And uh, apparently it went on like that, uh, the project was going on well until corona came. And uh, bishti yangu, so we had to close the school and I was so now at the verge of now despair and I'm like hii kazi yote sana nitaimalizia aje. Eh nikaachu nikasema mimi tu acha tu niende ni nichukue the, the same same uh, uh, recipe that I had used before. Rat rat and uh, uh, five pills of piriton. It didn't work out. Nikonga na nikasema cause I aje work out. Let me uh, let me go now take a buy a rope and uh, you know go hang myself and uh, in the mid east nikasema acha niingie kwanza to uh, instagram ni nione vile kunaendelea hapo so hapo ndio nikaona as sana ipitande and uh, people uh, uh, i saw uh, the comments wanasema uingie wapi uingie youtube there was a story ya uh, was it young and st- stupid ile uh, trusting the process yeah trusting the process when i watched that video uh, uh, trusting the process it really changed my my perception ya yeah, maisha na nikajua uh, everything that uh, comes good you have to pay the price for it but na nikasema since uh, this is a worthy cause let me uh, push on to the last minute and uh, finish this school and Trust you me, I felt good when I was told that to my Peter. But if I was to pick just a few examples, ni for me is kuwa mkasi kumoja kwa ile line ya mkurugenzi, ile line ya mkurugenzi kwa ziko na WhatsApp. Unamka, when you're going through the messages, unapata mtu wa mekutumia video. Ako church, mtu iwake anabaptizewa, anamuongeza jina ya Abel katoto kamezaliwa newborn mzazi anakutumia anasema ameita huyo mtoto Abel i mean if that is not impact <laughs> what is so zingine tunafanya ga vitu tukifikiria mazee it's about us tunagundua yo oh, bra it's bigger than you man nakumbuka nikisoma mazee eh, mail na, na text za say from diaspora mazee wakisema bra Yaani channel yako man in imeturudisha home maze ile home six uko nayo. Yaani unafanya tuna feel nika tu kwa itoka nje hiyo boda maze. Yaani they have now they now have something to latch on. Unajua? Ah so much as a very huge role, a very huge role on this channel. In fact, at in terms of uh, the support a very good 60% inatoka kwa wasi wa diaspora maze. So tukianza hiki tu kwa majani ya tu kwa tunajua ati tutafika mahali tuna impact mtu wako 700 and 7600 miles away ah not so long ago abel mtu did a crazy thing he did a live at knt no, no. it was at knt and it was of course it's abel mtu it's a sell out it's amazing then as i was watching the live um, as he was introducing young and stupid guys sang 
the jingle that I created for Young and Stupid, word for word, and I was like, yo. Um, is this incredible award. It reminded me of the first day I had my voice on the radio. Tulikuwa church, panda fence, kulikuwa na kawa shapo next, and I think tulikuwa na shagari, it was playing on on one of the radio stations. And it was, it, it kind of reminded me of that feeling that I had then. And um, it's something, it's something that shows, it was not, it was bigger than me. Something that I thought I was just doing for, a solid for Abel, became something that is much, much bigger and much appreciated. No, if it is. Tiling, maze, kama siyo staff saisi nige kwa tu ocha. Sababu uyo ndio kitu meneka Nairobi. Nakumbuka nikianza styling kwanza nilikuwa kwa bedsita moja jo. Sheo na zile bedsita maze, iko na mbu mbaka ukita kupiga simu, unaenda kupigia inje, simu inje, jia kelele. So maze, nilichapa iyo job maze, wakurugenzi ni kina nani? Oh, can you be a bro when you go to the city and you go to the city? I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. So I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the pilot. E, kufika form 3 kemi kakuwa noma ni kasema wacha ni jaribu rapa. But e, e, kidogo kidogo naona ni kifanya styling. Styling manze kwanza sana sana mbogi yangu yani ni mbogi na nishika mkono sana wanajua. Wanajua huni mse anajua hii job. So manze wame kuwa kinisikuma mbaya. So wani wase ini kitu manze na plan kufanya yani for, 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 for a very long time. Hai wakurugenzi. Munasema ni nani uyo ni mesahau? Jesse, look who are reading! <laughs> Buda manze Kenya National Theatre, iyo episode manze ili ni uma sana. Nakumbuka, kwanza, wacha ni apologize kwanza manze, nakumbuka the day before. Nilikuwa natembea hapo Junction Mall, nilikuwa natembea nikani kwa bedroom yangu. Kumbwa wa sawa kwa job in Nairobi. Manze ni kapta na mse moja wa nduthi manze yaka ni karibisha town. Jamali ni chapate nje, simu ilienda subui, na sayo ni saine mtu wangu. So maze ikakuwa yani unajua simu maze simu after matanga simu usoi pota za simu heri hata wacho na demu. Simu, simu maze ukuwa gina kutuwa timing ba. So the following day maze ndiyo shoot inafanyika. Sasa so, maze ikabidi man mitafte simu manza sijui nini kwa hakuna job maze wezi ifanya job bila simu so ikani ha ikani kanipita. So maze later on maze ndo natumia videos eh hey, hey, hey. wakurugenzi huko maze wame niimba man hey, it was so humbling. Kwa sababu unacheza wase wana kuita na wakujui, hawajui the face behind yu shuguli yote. Yani. So ina manisha ani wase, ani wase wametambua job yako, job yetu, venyo tunafanya as part of mkurugenzi. Ani kasema jo, hapa lazima ndarudisha mkono. Kuna kademu fulani kwaza ni maona kamelia sana hako, nda katafuta dead. <laughs> so maze, it was really humbling maze, na nge, maze nge wish yani muendele hivo, kutu support. Kwa sababu jo maze kasi njini jo sisi wengine wetu hapa jo maze unge imepatikana sahi finance ilikataa tukasema. Kwa za juzi ni mwona clip flani ya Kirubi, eh, the late eh, Dr. Kirubi alisema jo usuwe itegemea mse ya kutafuti opportunity. We mwenye una create your own opportunity, unajijenga. So kulingana mimi maze, yani, that's the thing yani nitaka kufaya sahi, kustyle. Na I hope manze mtendelea hivyo kuni support manze na shukuru sana jo. Hii ilikuwa school yangu. Mi usemanga kwa sinema haujuangi kila kitu. So the moment una step kwa new environment, always kuna ile kitu ito utalan. Yes, mkuru alikuwa meniamini, akanita, but nikasema, kwa za alikuwa amibelieve na za piga ikitu. Nika ingia kwa yu field power, but then along the way, of course, daily muna ingia different locations, kuna zile challenges, kuna patana na ayo. So every day, mi nimekuwa nga nikilana, personally, in terms of even my career, 
for, I think even for the first time, msiane za ni niona aniambie nimekuona kwa wewe ndo unapiga ngalia shughuli ya mkuru. Hii mimi sasa mimi upendaga ku compare vitu mob na ball. Man City <laughs> So, uh, kuna time una checking player 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 ni mnoma but ana lack tu kitu ana lack confidence tu kiasi. Na I guess hiyo ni kitu ni kitu moja ni kitu moja nimeinstill hiyo ndani yangu. Hii kuwa kuna kuwa kuna belly men but ya imeniaka confidence. Juka sasa ina za piga sign tukianza initially nilikuwa na kama kushika camera wide shot. But kika hivi unachikia pana. Hii picha yezi enda hivi. Acha tusongeshe kale kama huwa. Acha tusongeshe ile light. Nini nini so inanijenga inanijenga imenijenga set design, imenijenga lighting na imenijenga pia kuendelea ku shoot. Ju pia ukienda pale kwa comments ucheki msia alisema eh sijui mnafaa eh sauti haikuwa fit sijui picha haikuwa fit inakupatia hiyo motisha ya next time udu better na hadi kupiga research ju sai mimi mse mimi mse manze youtube social socials manze mimi sikuaga sikuanga msi wa socials but sai nitaingia youtube ni research ni research wase wana do similar content to abel ni kam ni cheki venye inaweza tusaidia sisi ku grow hii channel yeah personally nimekam ku meet more people kwa industry yenye siko na jos nitawai kuwa nime meet more people more job opportunities um, in terms of napata clients hapa hapa tu from the referrals from the many calls na pia from the jobs they nime pour credits kutoka na uh, from shooting mkurugenzi um, if hiyo simu haingepigwa hiyo siku sasa hii singekuwa na German machine. Mwanzo ningekuwa nacheza na manze na Zamzam hapa Nairobi. Nikushinda ukibio simu na watu ndudi. Kama luko baridi. Nakumbuka tulikuwa na live. We mimi hadi sikuongea. Nilisema tu I'm species. Next thing nikasema thank you. Hata sikusema nafanya nini. Ju ilikuwa a whole like. Oh. Ni a journey. Sawa. Species. <laughs> Asanteni. Love in the air. Manzi watu jai yona and then wase wenye jai niona. All of us hadin una, una in front of the audience. Alafu msako tuzileza ni age species then the whole crowd go what? I like ha karibu ni zibie but gangsta na big to <coughs> tuji. But hiyo for a person to like your job na hakujui na na appreciate without knowing all the struggles ama challenges zenye unapitia na nakwambia thank you good job hiyo ni a lot a lot more than anything first of all na yeye na give gratitude to Abeli initially for me ilikuwa hard sana ku explain him say me do nini na film manze over kwa ya mpiga shughuli then hapo kwa credits yeah ekiji na manze yani ka picha na cheki ro safi le picha ya kwanza yang in stupid nilikimbia nayo profile zangu on the socials zote design yani msake kama hivi eh akiona kama alikuwa amepata alikuwa amepata hiyo info kunusu kwa mkuru akikamwa hivi anaona yenyewe bas ndio huyo jamaa sasa na yeye alikuwa vakofiti sana juu na tujenga sana cheki si daily tu ati mseu unapiga job na eh then ana ku appreciate your design niko na hadi mabeshte eh mauru lakini naweza kuambia kitu moja kuna mmoja anaitwa Linko <laughs> Linko de Flavia hapo tumekana yeye eh. anaanza mbio dunini anakuanga fano abeli pia so nika muingiza kwa channel pale manze jama alimaliza episode hii kama ameingia mpesa <laughs> Eh bado uko kwa vichwa nguvu hivi hapo ndio ni realize yenyewe manze channel ina jenga wase. Alafu pia venye yo ku entertaining me up is stories of bamba jumi me bambi kamba sana. Nikiwa set alafu bado na ku learn. Mo especially hapo ni za highlight ile story ya JM. Acheki. Ah ile story ya JM miss kufanya hiyo. 
Anzeli nikuwa naisikia na nikaa ni movie. <laughs> eh, but all in all ya, yeah. channel imekuwa fit na I hope to keep bounce back bana tarudi na ubaya ama jabeli. Kabisa. Eh, tunarudi na ubaya mbaya sana. So the future for online business and content creation in general. So nashinda ngadi kiambia watu hapa I think like 60 70% of the jobs in the market right now in the in the world in the next 15 to between 15 to 30 years as it has not exist but yetu ayendi pali uh because we create i don't think there's a day we will create a machine that can create a story and so for us as content creators first of all we are safe as creatives so there uh and now just online may open up the possibilities zamani lazima ungengoje u big tv stations will put out your content sahi unaweza chukua content yako unirusha pale ndani so i think first of all online is the way to go uh, linear tv as we know it it's on a decline unfortunately um to i think for online creators the next big step in my opinion is creating your own product so moving away from influencing and marketing other people's products now let's start creating our own products uh, i think mkurugenzi kuna story amekuwa akiwagusia about merchandise i think that's the way to muzia watu wengi vitu zao i think for online creators anytime ya kuza vitu zao personally when when you look at the future of what we now have as the digital economy because kitambo ilikuwa facebook ni mchezo kama nitoka facebook maziwe inamwagika uko facebook unaona that was then i think nowadays unasikia there is a kuna what do you do i'm a digital manager at xyz company you are like so anamkanga asubuhi ku post twitter eh hey, nani kazi So for me I think uh, the, the, the future is so beautiful and it's us to harness all the available opportunity to see bache we harness all available to and ndani ndani like I'm so lucky to be born in time I'm so lucky to be here now to leverage on the on the whatever platforms we, we have I'll give an example kuna jamaa alikushikwa tu akikula ugali how unpredictable eh, eh, nini iko eh, social media. Jamaa ameshikwa akishika ugali tu. Pa! Bus bus. Sahi jamaa ako na kandarasi. Bus bus pia akapata kandarasi. Ako sawa, maisha yake imebadilika. So the the future for online biashara is really promising. And manze kama utaingia sahi unangoja? Ingia twende. For you as the consumer of content, you have to understand that the times have changed and it is very important that you learn that you're a part of this value chain if somebody is creating content na unasema umecheka juu ya hiyo content you've been inspired and you've been positively entertained it is your mandate to return value to that person so if this documentary if this conversation imekujenga in any way possible we are celebrating the one year anniversary of this channel what i urge you to do is give what you can return value in whatever way that you can and remember kwa hii channel no amount is too little no amount is too much no amount is appreciated because ati umepatia 1 million ati you more appreciated than msema napata 1 1 1 shilling a a you appreciated because the value that has been given to you wewe pali uko umeirudisha <laughs> eh sasa wakurugenzi kuna kitu kuna kitu meitisha for a long time tumekuwa tumenyamaza tujenyamaza kwa ubaya they say good things take time but finally we are here no na jacket jacket yes the merchandise is here finally and kuna uh, hii inaka hivi na zingine in other different colors na zingine mingi zaidi zinakuja and the good news is you can finally now purchase your merchandise the mkurugenzi merchandise on mkurugenzi.co.ke ingia tu hapo the process takwa tu hapo ndo ununue yako kama unataka ya blue kama hii yangu ama ya black ama ya red na zingine mingi zinakuja tupatane hapo sasa wadau <sighs> first chapter imekamilika it was beautiful beautiful <laughs> loved it sasa mazetu meza the next chapter mazee 
and what better way to start the next chapter kama sio live show another live recording wadao maze so the 18th of july tunarudi tena pale kenya national theater for the premiere of the next seasons of headline hitters and young and stupid maze so tukutane pale knt eh, design ya kulipa ndio hii eh, species fanya ile kitu hapa hapa kando yangu hapa Yeah, watu wajue vile kulipia hii kitu maze. Na kama kawa the spaces ni limited, si mnajua tu mambo ya social distancing na nini na nini. So hatuwezi operate at full capacity. Eh, so itabidi hii kitu otherwise utachelewa. Yeah, na hatuwezi taka uachwe nje. Uachwe nje ile ya kwanza alafu uachwe nje hii. Yeah, no. No, no. Yo, yo bad. Chazo na hii. Au sio wadau tukutane pale merchandise itakuwa kama K kuja shika hapo luku yako baridi eh yeah, ato skia fit maze thank you so much for the support maze that one year has been amazing looking forward to 10 more with you guys sababu maze siezi tisha kikosi kingine kama sio nyinyi na watambua sana god our bless sana nyinyi ni watu wa true deadly wakurugenzi wa true au sio na watambua sana adios muchachos peace Ah